have a story of a good cop, actually. Um, this particular cop turned in a white supremacist that was on the force and he ended up getting him removed. So we definitely want to say shout out to this good cop. That's what we expect of, of police in society um, to get the you know terrorists out of the department. So you had a race soldier and he's a race soldier. I'm talking about the one we're reporting on and out of Kissimmee, Florida was fired after his uh, white supremacist and it's a politically charged Facebook post surface. So Andrew Johnson, they say a um, race soldier with the Kissimmee race soldier department uh, shared and created several derogatory posts on his page. They say his news feed was a vortex of pro Trump uh, conspiracy claims that opposed the Democrat party. Now opposition to the Democrat party. I don't really take issue that he had an issue with Democrat party because I have a lot of issues with them personally. Um, but he was talking about black lives matter movement and you may not, you may say, well, what they got to do with us? We ain't in black lives matter, but you gotta understand. And I as a white supremacist, if you're black, you're black lives matter. Okay. That's just what they call all of us, whether you like it or not. I'm not nobody's group at all. I'm not no card care member, no black lives matter or any other group out there. I'm not, but you know, I'm black. So black lives matter. And he talking about Antifa, right? So it said amid the offensive bluster, they were thinly of their threats of violence from the silent majority, according to the screenshots from his Facebook activity. Um, they said, um, his, uh, problems began January 12th when a, you know, person, like I said, within the force had four screenshots, uh, from 30 of his Facebook posts to the police department's internal affairs unit. They say the whistleblower, uh, called, uh, Johnson, a very big problem and police officials uh, said he was an avid supporter of the Capitol riots in Washington. Now we know that there were many race soldiers and military and all of that in those, uh, capital, um, you know, attempted coup that we saw January the 6th. And they said at the time, as you'll see the attached uh, screenshots, he posted very inappropriate things over time. It said, and in having conversations face to face, he said, this man has said some massive concerning things. I believe he's incapable of doing his job without bias, which we know is a massive problem for police in this country. So after they verified the post, it was his commanding officers re immediately relieved him of duty and placed him on uh, administrative leave. Um, but with time, the suspension, you know, became permanent and he was fired. Um, they said he was still on a one year probationary period with the department. So he's not entitled to appeal his dismissal. Um, now th th this is the thing, you know, with all, with all these people, you know, let's, that, that, let's talk about more things that, that this, you know, white supremacist has said. Um, he said Louisville is the wrong place to do this. And he's talking about the uh, protest of Breonna Taylor here on September 24th. He said, Kentucky backwoods boy is going to show up. They're going to, he says, uh, an acronym for F around and, and find out. Um, he shared a meme called LeBron James, a true piece of ish for not standing for the uh, national anthem. Uh, several photos supporting, uh, you know, former president Donald Trump and a YouTube video of a most likely crash into a black lives matter protest in Florida. Uh, where he replied with laughing emojis. He also said a civil war is right around the corner. He said it's coming prepared now, but let me tell you something. Y'all, y'all was up there in the Capitol. Y'all didn't do anything. So why are you sitting here threatening people now? He said the same day he shared a meme um, of Kyle Rittenhouse. Um, and he was celebrating, um, you know, the, the, what Kyle Rittenhouse has done by killing the uh, Black Lives Matter protesters. Um, he said he called for an end of affirmative action programs, calling it one of the greatest divides in America. Well, you know, Dr. Claude Anderson called for the end of affirmative action as well. And he explained it very well that affirmative action programs benefit more white women than any other group. It doesn't benefit black people. So I don't know what he's talking about. I mean, the, his, his white woman brings money home off of affirmative action programs. So another post he made, he says for sale, he said, I'm selling my white privilege card. He said, it's just over 40 years old and it hasn't done a thing for him. He said, no inheritance, no free college, no free food, no free housing, etc." He said, I may be willing to trade uh, for a race car. It seems more useful and widely accepted. Well, you know, hold on, Mr. Uh, white supremacist race soldier. 
you you want you want uh, uh you want to inherit a free inheritance you want a free college and you want free food and free housing that's 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 not pull yourself up by your bootstraps you, but we all know truly you lazy you're lazy you didn't build america and you still not even maintaining it if everybody leave you to your own devices like i said y'all would just actually have that quote unquote war you're talking about because historically y'all don't like each other the only reason y'all stick together is because of your hatred for black folk. That's it. Remove black folk out of the room and you fighting each other. You know, we all know your history, but we glad this guy is, is off the police. You know, department is good. A good cop stood up and, um, called this out. That, that's what we like to see more of, but leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the situation, uh, with this race soldier. And you know, there's no telling what he would have done with time. And this is what we're talking about. When people talk about what can I do to help fight against white supremacy? If you are a cop and you see your colleague being a white supremacist, saying the N word, doing some old sucker things that you know is not right, turn them in, get them off the police department. That's what you could do to help out in society. <laughs>